Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you how to do dividing decimals. So we have a few different rules here. And the first one is divide a whole number by a decimal number. So we can take 15 divided by 0 0.2. So first up, so our first step is we need to multiply both the numbers by 10 until we get a whole number. So we can do 15 into 10 and that equals 250. And now let's do 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 10 equals to 2. So now we're supposed to divide these two numbers here. So we'll do that here. 150 divided by 2. So let's begin. Two sevens are 14. Then we get a 1, bring the 0 down. And two fives are 10. So our answer equals to 75. Okay guys, so here's our second trick. Dividing two decimal numbers. So we can take 6.4 divided by 0 0.4. And now we just need to multiply both of them by 10 to until they are whole numbers. So if we do 6.4 into 10, we're going to get 64. And if we do 0 0.4 into 10, we're going to get 4 for our answer. And now we're supposed to divide these two. So it's going to be 64 divided by 4. So our answer here is 16. Okay guys, so here's another rule. Dividing two decimal numbers with different decimal places. So as you can see, we have three decimal places here and two here. So now let's do the same old multiply until you get 10, I mean a whole number thing. So we do 0 0.5 9 into 10 and that will equal to 5.39 now we're not done here but I'll just show you this so we write 0 0.11 into 10 and that equals to 1.1 but we can do it one more time for each of them. So let's do it with this one. Now this one is like at maximum, it's 11. So this one is done. Now let's go to our next one. Into 10 equals to 53.9. Well, as you can see, we could do it one more time for this number. But then it wouldn't be even with both the digits. So we're going to stop here. But when we're doing the division, we're going to imagine there was no decimal point in the first place. So let's begin. 53.9 is going to become 539 for now. Divided by 11. So we're going to cut that, make that 4, and we're going to borrow one here, 13, and then 12, 11, 10, 9. And then we know 4 minus 4 is obviously 0. So we bring down the 9 here, and 11 into 9 is 99, so let's just put that up.
Okay, but we can't just leave it like this because we had the decimal, so it was right here, right? So we'll need the decimal point to be in the exact same place above in the answer as it was in our number here. So it's not 49, but our answer is 4.9. Okay, so here's another rule. So it's going to be dividing two decimal numbers with different decimal places. So as you can see, we have 0 0.539 divided by 0 0.11. So we have two decimal places here and three here. So let's get to the multiplication by 10 part until we get a whole number. So let's start with 0 0.539. Multiply by 10. And that will be 5.39. But so this isn't done yet. So we're going to 0 0.11. 0 0.11. Into 10. That will equal to 1.1. So as you can see, we can still do it one more time. So into 10 equals to 11 but it won't be any use doing more here so this one done now let's go back to our previous one so we can multiply by 10 one more time to get 53.9 i mean we could make it 539 and all but then like the number of times we multiply in both the numbers won't be even so now let's divide but while dividing our, our 53.9 is going to be on 539 for a bit. So, okay, so 11, 4, 44. And now we need to borrow here. And 13 minus 4 is 9. So we bring the other 9 down. And 11 nines are 99. So we get the 0 for the remainder. But we can't stop here. We need to add a decimal in the answer. So here... The decimal point was here in our dividend, so the decimal in our answer needs to be right above it. So it's not 49, but it's going to be 4.9. Okay, so now here's the last trick, guys. So it's dividing a decimal number by a whole number. So you can take 9.1 divided by 7. But now, we just ignore the decimal, so imagine it's not there. And that becomes like 91 divided by 7. So let's start. Okay, we'll do it here. And 7 trees are 21. But we need to add the decimal point now. So it was actually 9.1, so there. And in our answer, the decimal point will be right above the one in our dividend. So it's 1.3, not 13. So I hope you enjoyed my video, guys. Please stay tuned for more. Bye!